literally when I was collecting all these books from my bookshelf, I was burning a candle and then I went to go bend over and my hair dunked inside the candle. So now all I can smell is burnt hair and pumpkin. <laughs> My hair just, I think it just like burnt a little bit and then, um, I don't know, I think mostly I dunked it in the wax. So it's good. I'm okay. Did not set myself on fire. <laughs> Hello Retro Readers and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I wanted to do a little recommendation video where I'm going to recommend books that I think um, you guys should read during the autumnal autumn time. So these uh, books, um, it's just not one genre because I know during like fall and winter time a lot of thrillers will be read but these are just multiple genres so it ranges from nonfiction. I have nonfiction um, in this supernatural uh, classics and like contemporaries and of course a thriller <laughs> but yeah anyways so this is just gonna be a mix of um, genres so there's gonna be a whole bunch of recommendations for everybody anyways yeah so these are personally what how I feel um, would be good to read during fall or autumn so uh, these are just my own opinions and uh, everybody else has different opinions about what you guys should read for autumn. So of course there's going to be a lot of uh, recommendations uh, like what to read during autumn um, videos. So I'm just one of many voices. So let's start with the first book and this is of course my one single thriller that I am recommending you guys read during autumn or fall. <laughs> I don't read much thrillers but I'm trying to get into it. Uh, but the thriller that I do recommend is The Empty Glass by J.I. Baker. So what this book is about is it follows a man from the 1960s. It takes place in the 1960s and it follows this guy and he is like a cop and he shows up uh, for the call uh, from Marilyn Monroe's death and he notices a couple of suspicious things that makes him get involved into solving her death because he doesn't think it's a suicide and um, things escalate from there and uh, it is a thriller, very fast paced, and it's really good. I really enjoyed this book and I highly recommend it if anybody is in the mood for a good uh, thriller that also focuses on conspiracy theories and who is, who anybody, for anybody who is interested in uh, Marilyn Monroe and uh, the conspiracy theories uh, surrounding her death. I also recommend it um, for autumn because it does have that spooky atmosphere um, of like being followed and uh, just like a good mystery and I feel like it is perfect to read during the fall time. So that one was my one uh, thriller <laughs> and mystery that I recommend for this season and I'm going to also recommend one nonfiction book. Uh, so if you guys don't know who Zach Bagans is, um, I don't blame you. <laughs> uh, he is a uh, the host of Ghost Adventures which is a paranormal TV show where he and a group of got his friends or something uh, guys uh, they investigate and go to haunted places and of course it is very entertaining and um, you know 
uh, I just watch it for the entertainment. I don't really watch it for, like, like the ghosts, I guess. Um, I just, I don't know, honestly just watch the show for entertainment purposes because um, they do definitely upplay, upplay, um, like, demons and demonic entities and, like, no Ouija boards, and that's not something I believe in. Uh, if you do want a paranormal YouTube channel um, <laughs> to follow who does not do that, um, I do recommend Glowing Ghost Paranormal, as well as Ghosting Joey and uh, uh, Ghost Club Paranormal. <laughs> and they're all going to be linked up in the cards. Um, if you guys are interested in the paranormal, I know I am. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so the, let's talk about books. So the one book that I do recommend that's nonfiction is I Am Haunted, Living Life Through the Dead by Zach Bagans and co-written by Kelly Krieger. Uh, yeah, Krieger. Um, this is basically just his book about, um, just paranormal experiences that he uh, experienced before the show and after and during. Well, during, because <laughs> it's not done yet. Um, and yeah, I don't know, like, I found it very entertaining and um, it's just little anecdotes about him and, like, his experiences. And it's a lot of fun, and I d definitely would recommend reading this during uh, October or September during the fall time because it does, you know, have ghosts <laughs> and ghostly encounters in it, and I feel like it is very an October Halloween read, <laughs> I guess. Um, that's pretty much why I recommend this. Also, it is very entertaining to read, so I recommend reading this during autumn. Now for the one book that I recommend that is contemporary or romance to read during autumn, and that is The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker. Even this cover just screams autumn to me. Uh, this book is about this girl who goes to Alaska from Canada. Um, she goes to Alaska to uh, rekindle her relationship with her dad and they have become estranged and uh, she just really wants to um, rekindle their relationship and heal the, her their relationship. And I believe he also is sick. Um, yeah, he's sick and uh, she just wants to rekindle their relationship. So she goes to Alaska to do that and she meets this guy um who is named jonah and he is a bush pilot and he is very angry um and so it's basically a hate to love romance or enemies to lovers romance and it is really good it is very atmospheric so the reason why i'd recommend this um uh, for uh autumn <laughs> is because it is very atmospheric um it involves like wildlife and for autumn i don't know why but i think about a lot of like wildlife and like woodland animals uh for the autumn times <laughs> and yeah i just feel like this is a very cozy atmospheric romance and i highly recommend it especially if you love enemies to lovers that trope which i definitely do these are all like supernatural i guess in like spookier books so perfect to read for autumn um and i don't know about you guys but usually with autumn i think about halloween pretty much uh the next book that i recommend that you guys read is the road by cormac mccarthy this is kind of like a classic, I'd say, um, and it's about this guy and, well, this dad and his son in an apocalyptic world where um, 
there is a lot of ash everywhere it is cold and um, the world is pretty much dying and the people in it are dying as well and trying to survive and it is a really heart touching book i loved this book honestly um, and you just follow the lives of the man trying to take care of his son in this dying world and um yeah i feel like it is perfect to read for autumn because you know pretty much the leaves are dying and it's just spooky uh this book is really atmospheric and it is so beautifully written in my opinion and i highly recommend it next book that i recommend is a uh, practical magic by alice hoffman of course this book is basically like it follows these two sisters lives and one of them leaves their hometown and the other one kind of stays in their hometown and um years in the future something happens where one of the girls comes back to her hometown and um her boyfriend is like killed i guess <laughs> and it involves like witchcraft stuff because like you know the town thinks that these girls are witches and stuff um and spooky i don't know i just felt like this book is perfect to read during autumn time because it is spooky it has witches on it or in it <laughs> and i don't know it's like a good like good like feel good book i guess um kind of it kind of like has the same vibes almost as gilmore girls and for me and most people gilmore girls is pretty much fall <laughs> a fall tv show um so yeah i highly recommend this book as well this next book that i recommend is meddling kids by edgar quintero now i liked this book but I didn't give it a high rating but I do recommend this um especially during fall because it is like a spooky supernatural um scooby-doo retelling I guess so uh, and for me scooby-doo is pretty much the epitome epitome of fall because like me and my cousin used to watch scooby-doo mainly during the fall time so anyways um what this book is about is about you know these group of kid detectives in the se like late 70s um and they solved this case they were involved in this case um where like it turned out to be a guy in a mask obviously so scooby-doo but also like you know there was a lot of like weird supernatural things going on in this like time in this case so years in the future in uh 1990 <laughs> um like 13 years in the future they go back to uh resolve the case and they discover that it wasn't a guy behind a mask the whole time it was actually supernatural uh, a supernatural entity doing it uh, whatever it was <laughs> anyways yeah I don't want to spoil it for you guys but I do recommend this for autumn and like obviously Halloween time um, especially if you like Scooby-Doo and you wanted to have it be more like supernatural than like a man behind the mask all right last book that I recommend is a Girl Called Monster by Paige Lavoy. Uh, this book I feel like is definitely not really well known, but I highly recommend it. So this book is about this girl and she is created in a laboratory much like Frankenstein because it's a Frankenstein retelling or um, Frankenstein's monster, sorry. Uh, so she is created by this a uh, doctor dr frankenstein or something yeah <laughs> and she is created and um basically she breaks loose from the laboratory and she meets these group of friends and she learns to 
live her life while Dr. Frankenstein is like, no, you must be with me. You must like come hither, you know? <laughs> like he's like, you must come hither because I made you, you know? So yeah, it's pretty much a Frankenstein retelling, but also like it's really good and I highly recommend it. <laughs> um, especially if you love Frankenstein, which I do, um, by Mary Shelley. <laughs> so the reason why I'd recommend this during the fall time is because it is Frankenstein, a Frankenstein retelling and I feel like that is a classic monster that everybody loves and um, it's perfect to read during Halloween in the fall time. Uh, I also just recommend this book in general if you like YA books, style books. Um, it is really good in like coming of age, like heartfelt, heartwarming books. So yeah, so like, you know, fall is like pretty much about like family time too. And this is very like family-esque, <laughs> like um, heartwarming and stuff and joining together uh, for family. Anyways, yeah, I recommend this book highly. So that is all the books pretty much that I recommend to read for fall. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys like found a couple books that you do want to read. Um, yeah, I'd love to know in the comments down below what I like what you guys liked from my book selection I guess. Um, what you guys want to read and stuff like it would be pretty helpful to like for me and like make me happy to see that people want to read these books um and I like kind of told them about it <laughs> um also in the comments down below if you have any recommendations for me or anybody who is reading the comments uh for fall and autumnal reads let me know comment down below I, it'd be much appreciated because Honestly, I love getting comments and I love like seeing what you guys say. <laughs> Anyways, uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like this channel, please consider subscribing. I post uh, bookish related content. And yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a good day. Bye. Be sure to follow my Instagram and Goodreads. I post all my updates on Instagram as well as fun pictures, and I post everything that I'm reading uh, currently on Goodreads. So, if that's interesting to you, uh, please follow. Link in the description.